Hey there, hi there, ho there. Welcome to the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. My name is Todd Rhodes. I am one of the co-founders over at chemistrystaffing.com and your host here on the Healthy Church Staff Podcast. I'm so glad that you have taken a few minutes of your day to join me. We are continuing our series today. It's actually a two-week series. We started earlier this week. It's a series on gratitude and Thanksgiving, headed into this Thanksgiving season next week. Today's topic is one of those that may hit home for a lot of us, and hopefully, I I hope it will be helpful to you today. We're going to be talking about gratitude as an anecdote to burnout. Just about every podcast I mentioned about how ministry can be tough, and we talk with candidates that are people that are looking to make a move to a new ministry, and many of them are just 8, 9, 10 on the burnout scale. Many of us have faced this or will face burnout or just extreme tiredness, right? But I want to share with you how gratitude can hopefully maybe be a powerful tool to help you combat that feeling of exhaustion, of burnout, of tiredness, and help you find some of that joy again, even on the hardest days. All right, if we're real, ministry is just odd, right? So it's it's different, right? It's not just a job. At least hopefully it's not just a job. It's a calling. And that means that we pour a lot of ourselves into it. Matter of fact, it's not a nine to five job that you take ministry joys and problems home with you. Yeah, You think about them when you're laying in bed. They're the first thing on your mind probably when you wake up in the morning. And sometimes that can lead us to feel stretched very thin, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And if you've ever found yourself in a season where you're you just going through the motions, you you know what burnout feels like. But what if I told you that gratitude could help you fight that? Now, I'm not saying it's cure-all, but there's something about intentionally focusing on things that we can be thankful for that can shift our mindset. That's what we've been talking about this week. It's like a breath of fresh air when you're drowning in stress. Paul writes about this in Philippians, uh, book of Philippians, chapter four, verse eight. He says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever's true, whatever's noble, whatever's right, whatever's pure, whatever's lovely, whatever is admirable, If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about these things. And I think gratitude helps us to do just that. It turns our attention to what's lovely and what's praiseworthy, even when our circumstances suck. I heard about a conversation that someone had with a youth pastor here recently, who was, and this youth pastor, right on the edge of burnout. It was fairly obvious. This person was tired and overwhelmed and feeling like they were failing at everything they do. But they started the simple practice at the end of the day, they'd write down three things they were grateful for. Sometimes it was just as basic as, you know, I made it through the day. But over time, they noticed it did help. It didn't ease the workload, but it did give them little glimpses of hope to hold on to. So here's your bottom line for today, especially if you're feeling burned out. Try adding gratitude in as a practice to your routine. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Maybe it's writing down three things, as that youth pastor did, three things that you're thankful for at the end of the day. Maybe it's starting your morning, as we mentioned yesterday, about naming one thing that you're looking forward to or that you're grateful for. And and just these little moments of gratitude can act as a buffer against the stress and, and that you feel and help you see the good things that might be getting overshadowed by the tough stuff. I'd love to hear how you tried some of this before, or if you decide to give it a shot after listening today. I, I always love hearing your stories, and any way that I can help you or your ministry, send me an email, podcast at chemistrystaffing.com, and uh, I read every email that comes into that email address, so I'd love to hear from you. If your church also is looking for someone uh, new in your team to hire a new staff member, or you need help creating a uh, healthier work environment. Uh, I'd love to be able to help your church with that as well. You can reach out to me, Chemistry Staffing. Po- uh, it's the email address is podcast at Chemistry Staffing. Okay, thanks for turning in. Remember, ministry can be challenging, but you're not in this alone. I'm here to help. We are here to help. There are others going through exactly the same thing you are going through today. And taking a few moments today to find something to be thankful for might just help lighten that load. 
Appreciate you. And uh, we will see you tomorrow here on the Healthy Church Staff Podcast.